do another oxygen not included build video this one's going to be about space stuff and managing temperature in space and, and the uh, temperature of your machinery and robo miners and whatnot so let's jump right into it um so with all the research i've done on this which is not a whole lot mind you um I realized that there's pretty much only two ways to cool things down in space, and that's either liquid or gas with drywall behind it. Um, now, liquid, you have to obviously have tiles underneath the machinery, whereas gas, you can put it over the top. Now, I haven't really seen many builds use gas, at least not from the ones I've looked at. Most of them are trying to use liquid, um, or they're just using like steel robo miners that they're replacing. But if there's anything I learned about not cooling machinery down and just saying, oh, I'll replace it every once in a while, it's fine at first, but it gets to be a pain in the butt real quick. And you're like constantly watching it and, and trying to rebuild it and stuff. And it's like, well, I, I don't want to deal with this anymore. I should have just I should have just implemented a cooling system in the first place. Dang it. Why didn't I? But whatever. Uh, so I decided to go with gas. And the reason behind this was that I have these natural gas generators in my current base, um, like in the legitimate game. Obviously, this is debug, but uh, this is pretty much exactly how I have them set up. Now, the Wii Sports are, yes, in the tile, but that's, again, because we're in debug. But this is, I have a Wii Sport in between each generator. Um, so this is pretty much exactly how they're set up. Now, it's not quite as cool as it currently is in my base, but it's fine. It, it'll work. It functions the same way. So what I'm currently doing with the gas, though, is I'm pumping it within the vicinity of a carbon skimmer. So I'm just essentially just deleting it. And it's actually cool, pretty cool gas. It's like... It's not hot or anything, right? It's a it's in a cold room and it's being output at a cold temperature. So I could there's a lot of potential in this carbon dioxide to actually cool something down. So instead of just sending it sending it to a carbon skimmer and deleting it, uh, I thought maybe I could use it to cool down my robo miners in space and deal with the regolith problem up there and stuff. So this is the system that I've decided to go with. So we've got our main carbon dioxide line coming in here and you can see it's actually backing up. So we're generating more carbon dioxide than we're using with this system. Although you could adjust that to use more. Um, and we've just got a, a main sort of dispersion line all the way down here. You could obviously run this across the entire top of your base or wherever you want this. And then we've got a valve set to five grams a second. Each valve is set to five grams a second. We have one valve for each uh, robo miner. Although if you have multiple pieces of machinery, like, I don't know if you had something underneath it, like a liquid tank or whatever, then you could, you could just up the amount that we're outputting here and it would be able to cool down, you know, multiple pieces of machinery. And we've got one of those for each robo miner. Um, and then, uh, Robo miner is sitting on insulated tiles, so we're not transferring heat from the doors down to the gas. Uh, so the only thing the gas is cooling is the robo miners, not the doors themselves. And then once that gas heats up, it's sucked out into the vacuum of space. So we're just essentially deleting that hot gas, getting rid of it. I know we're kind of throwing away carbon dioxide, but who really needs more carbon dioxide? Seriously, are you? If you have a base right now and you're like, "Dang it, I just don't have enough carbon dioxide." I wonder where I can get more. You've got problems, my friend, because I have never had that issue. And I would love to see that base because <laughs> you're doing something either right or wrong, depending on how you look at it. But uh, let's go through the system uh, and the automation. So it's real simple. You've just got space scanners. They're all connected to the same automation wire, and they're detecting meteor showers. And then I have them to a knot gate, uh, which then connects to the bunker doors. So whenever there's a knot... Uh, a meteor shower coming, they'll open, uh, dropping all the regular down to be robo mined. Now, one thing I will mention is I do have all of these doors powered, which I would recommend because I did a, a, a sort of a test over here where I have one powered and one not powered, and the powered one opens in about 42 seconds or so. The unpowered one. I went like three minutes. So I was like, okay, this is way too long. But I, I'm assuming it would take around five minutes because it was about halfway open at that point. Um, not exactly sure ex how much, but around five minutes, I would say, if it's unpowered. So that's a long time. So you don't have to power them, but I would suggest powering them if you can. And then I guess that's pretty much everything. I, I will mention the shovels. They're not really an integral part of the build. I was just trying to test out uh, how would they how they would function so essentially if i just dumped all my shovels up here and you know this was all metal 
then they could climb out and stuff. But if this was like all pretty much covering the entire top of my base, obviously there's some areas I would want saved for rockets and whatnot. But um, then the shovels could just like roam this roam this glass area and, and eat all the regolith. And even if they like pop through the bottom and drop their egg, the egg can't get out once it hatches. The only place it has to go is back up. So, you know, the shovels are kind of contained in this area. And I don't currently have shovels on my map, but I, I'm probably going to add them because I do have quite a bit of regolith building up and that's pretty much the only way to delete it without, you know, using debug. Um, but yeah, so this kind of contains the shovels and I'll probably do a little more research and testing with the shovels before I actually implement those. But the main idea with this was just cooling down the, the stuff in space. And that's kind of the main idea behind this video. Uh, the solar panels aren't actually connected right now. I was just showing that it'd be pretty easy to slap some solar panel underneath. Obviously you would have to have some cooling for them. So potentially, you know, drywall behind the bottom tile with liquid coming out at one end and then being sucked out into the vacuum space on the other or just being recycled. You know, you could use polluted water and then sieve out the heat or whatnot. So I haven't done any testing with that. This was just to show how to cool the robo miners because this is like the first layer, right? We got to get that first layer set up before we can actually work on anything under that. But that's going to be the video. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit that like button if you did. If you have any questions or suggestions for this build or really any ideas around this at all go ahead and post them in the comments below i do read all the comments and reply to them all um and if you're not subscribed hit that subscribe button because we got a lot of builds coming up and well i say coming up but I, i'm just working on all basically i get like these ideas i've got these ideas running through my head i'm like oh i gotta try that i gotta try that and i just I, i'm always trying things but i'm never finalizing builds so uh it's a rough life i know but thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video Everyone have a wonderful day.